Hey folks, Damien from Southpaw Designs here, and uh, today I'm going to start a new series. These are intended to be four to six minute videos that are going to teach you how to do simple things. They're not intended to be deep dives in anything. They're just, I have a question, I need to know how to do that. And so this video is going to address that. Uh, the title is going to be fairly straightforward. The description is going to be straightforward. I'm not going to put in any frills. So if that's something that is useful to you, make sure you hit that subscribe button below so that you'll get notified. And then also down in the comments, make sure that you leave a comment telling me what content you'd like to see. Videos like this are very easy for me to do, very easy for me to produce. Because of the fact that I'm a teacher, this a lot of the time is how I teach anyway. So uh, it's fairly simple to do. So please um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and leave a comment. Tell me what you'd like to see. And uh, it might be something that comes up. So with that, let's dive right in. How do we perform an image trace? Okay, so here we go. Uh, in order to use the trace bitmap feature, which is what it's called, which basically takes a bitmap image and allows you to convert it to a vector, we really need to understand the difference between bitmaps and vectors. Uh, first off, a bitmap graphic is created with pixels. So if I go ahead and import a bitmap, I'm going to choose my Goonies key right here. If you've been following along my channel, you know I'm a fan of the Goonies. So I'm going to shrink that down a little bit just so it's easier to see. And uh, so there you go. Now, if I were to blow this up real tight, you'd be able to see that it's made up of all kinds of little pixels, little bitty dots, kind of like a mosaic that's put together. And there are thousands of different colors. Each of those dots are a different color to make up what looks like an image. Um, but in order to use a, uh, a file for CNC, we have to convert it into a vector. What that does is that converts it from a series of bitmaps or pixels into a series of curves and lines that are more easily read um, by a CNC. Okay? Uh, uh, vector graphics are also used on business cards, they're used on billboards out there, uh, out on the highway, and a vector graphic is a, is a scalable vector graphic, so you typically see them uh, saved as SVG files, or at least that's a common file type that we work with, and an SVG is a scalable vector graphic which can be blown up or shrunk down. Um, to whatever size because it's just a series of lines and curves so it can be recalculated at whatever the, the necessary dimensions are. So now how do we actually take that this and convert it into an SVG? First off I'm going to select it then I'm going to select the trace bitmap tool which I'm not exactly sure what that is. It To me it looks like a bird but it might or might not be and then you're going to select the colors that you want and what happens is um, is uh, um, VCarve actually just isolates some of the more common colors there and you get to decide how much detail you want. All right. I do not want to group the vectors because I'm going to have to go in here and delete a bunch of this. And once I have that, I'm going to go ahead and preview it. That's going to show me what it's going to look like. And then I'm going to apply it. So once I've applied, there we go. Go ahead and close this, and now I have all of my vectors. So each one of these little things, uh, let's see, can I get in there and get rid of the, what I'd like to do is I'd like to get rid of the, the actual skull now. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. There we go. Okay, so now what we have left are all these little vectors. So that literally is how you do it. Now, what you probably want to do is you want to come in here and you're probably not going to want all these details. So with a picture like the one that I chose, it's not an easy one to work with or it's going to take a little work. So what you need to do is you need to come in here and you need to get rid of the parts that you don't want because you just may want this outline right here. All right. So I'm just going to come in and start deleting. And you know, you can grab big portions of it, like maybe down here, you want to get rid of all that. But sometimes, guess what, ladies and gents, it's just going to take a little while. All right. Uh, that's part of it. The cleaner bitmap file you find, the cleaner the vector is going to be when you convert it. And sometimes you can just boom, do a quick snap conversion and it's done. Now with this particular picture that's not the case. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring another one in and I'm going to show you something that's a much simpler graphic. So I'll stop right here and then when we start back there will be another one. 
Okay, so here we have our second graphic, and I'll be honest, I, I'm not sure what's going on right there in the middle there. This is just my simple logo. I decided to use this because I knew I could use it without getting into copyright trouble. So let me go ahead and apply that same process, trace bitmap. So I have that selected, and I'm just going to choose the black and some of the darker grays there because I think that's going to get most of it. I do not want to group the vectors because if I group the vectors, then I won't be able to get rid of the, the scrap parts that I'll want to get rid of at least without ungrouping them first go ahead and preview that and I can see it and then apply and close and there we go so then I'll just delete the bitmap version which is still there and what I'm left with is my vector I'm gonna get rid of these little stray marks right there now this is not the cleanest graphic to use because you can see some rough edges there some things that aren't quite straight but you'll notice that because of the fact that we're starting with a simpler graphic, creating this type of a vector is much easier than working with something that comes from a fully detailed picture. That's just the nature of the beast, folks. Sometimes it's easier just to trace over something and start from scratch. So with that, I hope you got some use out of it. And uh, if you would, please hit that subscribe button and let me know what you'd like to see next. Um, and have a great night.